Hi there guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at how to install the program. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. Uh, you guys will yeah, notice that uh, we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we have daily updates. Otherwise, we head back here to the tutorial. So now, um, let's remove that. So now, after we've downloaded the um, the software, or let me rather first say, this is a mini series on the downloading, installing, and activating, and also deactivating the program. So in the first uh, little episode, we had uh, checking your license um, status and also how to download the program. So now in this one, we're going to be looking at installation. So uh, like I just mentioned, so once you've navigated to where you've downloaded your program, you will see it is in a zip file. And then uh, let's just go to view. You can make the icons a little bit larger. Yeah, let's maybe go normal, large icons. In any case, so now what will happen is that uh, once you've opened the zip, by default, Windows should have something to open it. Otherwise, you can try something like um, uh, Zip7 or Win, you know, WinZip or WinRAR or something on that line. But uh, in any case, I'll give you this uh, option. So the, and then what you want to do is you want to double click the auto run. So it is the first one, the one not in caps or not in cap uh, caps letters. So um, in any case, so then you run this and then it'll ask you if you want to run it or extract it. But as you see here, um, it says that this may, uh, program may depend on other compressed files in this folder. For the application to run properly, it is recommended that you first extract all files. So then what you want to do is go to extract all. Now this is basically going to ask you where you want to extract it to. At the moment, it will be right next to my zip file. So it will be one folder up, so I can easily find it. You can also say um, show extracted files when complete, but I normally like to leave that off. So then we'll click extract. And then this might take a while, so I will pause the video and then get back to you once it is done. Guys, this thing's just about done. Okay, so then once it's done, it should close all that for you. Then we just click one up again. And then we'll see now we have this new folder. This is where the actual installation is located now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this. And then we run the auto run again. Now it will ask us um, that it would basically like to make change to the computer. I'll just be saying yes. And then we'll bring us up our setup um, option. So I'll leave my language at in English. We'll run this. Now I already have this installed on my computer, so it's going to ask me to override it. But if it's your first time, then it should not ask you that. Let me just wait for this. Uh, this can take a while because now what's busy happening is actually extracting everything from the installation. So then we want to click next. I'm going to accept the license agreement. Otherwise, you won't be able to install it. You can always read it if you're interested. But it's quite a read. And click next again where you want to install it to. I'll leave it at, at default. Click OK. I will leave this as well at default. Click next. Pretty much, you're just going to be clicking next a lot. Unless you know what you're doing, you, you kind of want to leave everything at stock. And then for this, I'm going to pause again so it's just the video is not too long. And once it's done, we'll carry it on. Yeah, let's see, this thing is just about done. Close few files. Okay, there's more. <laughs> okay, this should be rather quick now. Okay, now once it's done, it's gonna um, go to the background for some reason. So I'm just gonna put on my little block out so we don't see my user ID and so forth. And then what you do, you can just click on that again. And then, uh, yeah, uh, what we have here, we've got a, it's something to keep in mind. You have to um, have this thing, what do you call it, um, online in order for this to work. So that is quite an important note. Because if it's not online, you will um, you'll have to manually get it afterwards and 
um, install it. You can obviously yeah, get license from website. So if you have not purchased one, uh, one yet, but in my case, I'm just gonna copy this, put my license in there, and then uh, yeah, you wanna then click next. Okay, then uh, after you click next, it will say uh, license successful, and then you can click finish. Uh, uh, like I say, yeah, would you like to clear previous application? This is kind of just um, relevant to uh, me because I already have the software installed. So you should not get this message. I'm just going to leave that at no. And then your last little block here will be finished. So you can click finish and then we're done installing it. Then uh, that somewhat covered also activation of the program. But otherwise, uh, if we just go here to softwaretraining.co.za, uh, we have a variety of different softwares we do cover and also um, you can isolate your search here by the search bar and uh, if you don't find what you're looking for we also have this option request a training video and then we will make that for you otherwise till next video thanks guys for watching and cheers